The uh, transition uh, from the piston world to the turbine world was a natural. A lot of the customer base has uh, migrated upward uh, from piston aircraft engines into the turbine aircraft. And uh, we have uh, customers uh, that are uh, Grand Canyon tours, freight haulers, the medical industry with Life Flight. And uh, we're starting to venture into uh, uh, South America and, and uh, Central America and um, eventually Africa and Europe. I've been in this industry for 25 years, 10 of which was with uh, Pratt & Whitney as technical support, five years also as a satellite manager for a major manufacturer. Uh, I hooked up with David Lease and Al Head about four years ago and started this venture on a PT-6 overhaul facility. We have a uh, Conquest 1 here with PT-6A-28 engines. We're just finishing up double hot sections. The guys are currently checking their safeties and cowling it up and getting ready to go out to a ground performance run. Not only do we do the on-wing hot section repairs, we also do engine removals and installations along with the rigging of the engines once it's installed. This is our teardown section. This is the first stop that the engines make whenever they come into the shop. All the tools we have back here are very specialty items for tearing down the PT-6 engines. After this, and they are sent into cleaning and then off to inspection. This is our cleaning department. After teardown, all our parts come into here into different carts and we separate it between the steel, aluminum, and magnesium. Then we go through and we rinse everything off in our solvent tank, get all the oil and debris off. Then we go over into our ultrasonic unit. It's soap and water, takes all the oils, gets everything pretty clean. After 30 years of being an inspection, I'm set up here at Western Skyways as their chief inspector. I'm in charge of quality control for Western Skyways turbines. I uh, ensure that your service letters, service bulletins, uh, your warranties and everything is top-notch when it leaves this facility. Here we have a microview measuring system. With the compressor turbine blades here and the disc, you can see the damage right here as I bring it in. And I can magnify the damage for you up to 250 times. And when I have you on the phone with this system, I can email you the photos so you can see the damage to your engine. Other test equipment we have here is a ferro arm. It, it tests for impact damage on vane rings, blades, etc., whatever rotable parts you have. Over here we have a Rockwell hardness tester to test for our rotable parts, the hardness on CT disc, PT disc. Here we have a microscope to check for bearing damage. With all this equipment here we can keep our inspection in-house here and the customer will have less downtime for his aircraft. This is a typical PT6A prop shaft. Uh, we run it through a magnetic particle inspection, check for hidden damage and it'll check for surface and subsurface uh, cracks in the part. As well as our magnetic particle inspection, we also perform a fluorescent penetrant inspection. This is a typical compressor turbine vane ring. Uh, we run it through a fluorescent penetrant inspection and it serves the purpose of checking for cracks and hidden damage as well. This is our paint and varnish area. We conduct preventative maintenance on the uh, magnesium parts that come through after they've been cleaned in the inspection. This is a reduction gearbox housing which has been stripped and ready for varnish and painting. This part here has been varnished with a blue bag to protect the magnesium. And then the final product after we put the paint on it is here, which we all do in house here. After disassembly, cleaning, and non-destructive testing, the parts arrive here. This is the detailed inspection area. This is my area. Here I'm inspecting impeller housing. This is just one of thousands of parts that are inspected in this area. The process takes approximately five days for each part to be inspected. After I'm through, I'll take it to assembly. From there, I will follow this engine until it leaves the door. From the moment it comes in the door, this is my engine. I take pride in it, and I follow it the whole way through. This is the fixture for drilling out the rivets on the compressor turbine disc. Uh, is what we use to drill out the rivets and so we can inspect the disc and the blades. What we have here is a compressor turbine installation fixture. What this does is it installs the blades and rivets into the disc. Every model PT6 has a different pressure that we use. This ensures that it's installed flawlessly. 
What we're doing here is balancing a first stage carrier on a shank horizontal balance machine. The reason we're balancing this carrier is due to high vibrations and harmonics that are created by the carrier if it's not balanced. What we also have is a horizontal balancer which allows us at Western Skyways to bring the vibration in your engine down a lot lower. This is our PT6 gas generator assembly area. This is a PT6A-36. We're installing the nozzles here, the, the hot section here. It's final assembly, so after this station, it's gonna go to uh, mating, the power section, and the final stop before it goes to test cell. We are in the power section assembly room. This is where we build up all of our PT6 power, power sections. All this is specialty tooling we have to our, for the purpose of assembly. This particular item we brought in for a cracked uh, exhaust duct. This one has been repaired and rebuilt. We are now using the TT1000 to test the insulation and resistance of the T5 system and make sure it is ready for flight. After that, we will box this up and ship it back to the customer. Also in the power section assembly room, we we do prop strike inspections, sudden stoppage inspection, lightning strike inspections, um, oil contamination inspection. Currently stacking up a, uh, a power section that had a uh, sudden stoppage. I'm currently working on the first stage carrier, which we just previously balanced. After I install the PT disc, I'm going to install the PT vane, on top of which is calibrating the amount of airflow through the power turbine section. And then once that's installed, we'll install our T5 housing. And then after the T5 is installed and I completely stack the whole power section, the power section is ready to be mated with the gas generator to go on to test cell. Our technicians also have an extensive background. A lot of our employees are ex Pratt and Whitney people. Uh, ex-airline people that have been working in their past on PT6 engines also. We also sent our uh, technicians out virtually around the world. We've had people in Greenland, uh, Hawaii on a regular basis, East Coast, West Coast, South Florida, and we're currently doing quite a lot of work in South America. Western Skyways Turbine, this is Sheila. How may I help you? We have numerous exchange engines that we can offer customers if they don't want the downtime as far as an overhaul takes. Our turn time on an overhaul is four to six weeks based on the condition of the engine after we tear it down. We do an extensive cost estimate in which we give to the customer and at that point he may want to exchange his engine. It may be cheaper for him to exchange it. We also have a rental engine pool that we can keep the customer flying and in the air and making money as we're doing his overhaul. Having the rental engines available allows us to have a step above our competitors in the fact that the airplane can continue to fly. It does not have to sit down for a four to six week period as the overhaul is being performed. There's a lot of things to think about when you're, when you're thinking about replacing your aircraft engine. Uh, most people, first thing they think about is price. That probably should be the last thing, but they're going to want to know how much first. You should ask a lot of other pertinent questions. Uh, the shop that you're going to choose. Uh, do they have an FAA drug testing program? Do they have product liability insurance? Uh, are they FAA approved repair station? A lot of shops are not. They simply have a mechanic, an A&P mechanic, sign off the work order. We have very competitive pricing in the marketplace. Uh, as is not having such a large overhead, we can offer a reduced price. Our customers are finding that in this day and age, pricing support is key to them. At Western Skyways, we live to remanufacture engines. Aviation is our life. We're very proud of our company and we, we would love people to come and see us. Our endeavor is, is to uh, create a comfort zone uh, for the customer from their first contact with Western Skyways all the way through the entire life of the engine. As you consider Western Skyways for your engine rebuild and as you research our background and, and really check it into us. Uh, I want you to know that we're not bragging. We're simply applying for the job. Western Skyways builds the finest turbine and piston engine available in the world.